are you doing with this monstrosity? Yo, my head keeps sticking up, bro. I don't know what's going on. Yo, Andy, you're the one who taught me this. What am I supposed to teach you now? Are you crazy? This is why you can't be walking around with a fucked up crown. All right, so a fucked up crown is pretty much this. When you cut way too high and tight where the back and the top start to meet this round curve. Now, here's why the shape of a haircut is gonna be so crucial and can define your face shape. All right, everybody, the more you shave up high and tight around the corner of your head, the more you're gonna cut into the PR, parietal ridge. And the more you're gonna fuck around in that area, the more you're gonna find out why your head looks like doo-doo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Yo, can you help me film the video? Yeah, after uh, my uh, shit, bro. Okay, cool, thanks. All right, we go. So your barber better be doing the clipper over comb technique just like Kane's about to do. It's gonna help me create shape in my hair, also for my face shape. Now, the easiest way to build confidence for clipper over comb, you're gonna lay it flat to the head and keep it straight up and down. Ooh. Now, don't be tilting in like this, though. You're gonna make it very round. The goal is to keep that prior ridge heavy so you can also support whatever hairstyle you got on top. So as you can see here with this side-by-side -side comparison, this side is kept nice and square, helping support whatever hair I have going on the top. This side left grown, unruly, very round, not very flattering for my face shape. Keeping it square is to help me grow out my hair, which I'm trying to do, so that way these corner pieces that bend is gonna grow out and lay down nice and easy for me. 